So this is the spreadsheet application associated with the software developer certification. It works like a normal spreadsheet in that you can type various values into the different cells. So here I'm just entering some small integer values. You can also type formulas in. So here I'm going to say equals B1. And this will just take the value in the cell B1 and reproduce it here in this cell. But you'll see for B1 in the formula bar at the top of the spreadsheet application, you'll just see the value. But if you click into A2, you'll see the formula appears. And the result of the evaluated formula shows up in the cell. So we can also enter string literals. and they'll be displayed in the cell to the degree that they fit and you can see the entire string literal or value up here in the formula bar. We can also put in a formula which is a reference to a string literal so that string literal will be copied into the new location and if we were to modify that string literal it would be updated in both locations. We can also type in simple formulas. So for example, I'm going to add A1 plus B2. And the problem with this formula is that B2, of course, is a literal. So you can't include a string literal in arithmetic expression. That results in an invalid value, in which case you see these three exclamation marks. So I can go up to the formula bar and correct this by adding the correct cell reference, which is B1. And I'll re-enter that. And now you'll see that cell A3 displays the correct result of adding A1 and B1, which is the value 3. We can also create somewhat more complex expressions in the formula, for example, We'll add A1 plus B1 times C1. And in this case, we get the value 9. And the reason we get the value 9 is that there is no operator precedence in evaluating these expressions. So normally, we would want to see B1 times C1, which would give us the value 6, plus A1, which would give us the value 7. But these expressions are just simply evaluated left to right. So we end up having a1 plus b1 equal 3, and then we multiply that by 3, and we get this result of 9. So there are also some other errors that can be introduced. We saw how you could create an invalid value by including a string in a formula. Another way to create an invalid value is to create circular references. So we'll have a4 reference b4, and we'll have b4 reference A4. And as soon as I create this circular reference, the values in both cells are now invalid because they're referring to each other. That's uh, basically everything you need to know. If you want to delete formula, you can't delete it here. You have to go up into the formula bar and remove it and hit enter in the formula bar. And now that formula has been removed.